Woohoo! All right. Sight to have found this. An interesting thing. I've been looking on the bay. Not much out there I really want. Or I can't think of anything else that I'd want. There's a, and that's a first. Usually I've been able to find something. There's some good stuff that, that's that's out of my price range. Like I can't I can't just buy an Operation Moon base. But what I could do is obtain this. which is Major Matt Mason's survival tent and backpack. Estate sale vendor. And I'm going to agree with him. Just, uh, uh, just from looking at it right now, it looks like it's never been played with. I don't think the tank is connected correctly, but I'm not going to mess with it at this moment. Well. Yep. And along with a figure and a cat track, that's about the extent of my Major Matt Mason collection when I was a kid. My parents were a little bit anti-materialistic and did not get us until G.I. Joe. When, G, when it was time for G.I. Joe, yeah, they, they, my dad actually got kind of a kick out of that. And he liked Hot Wheels, and we had a, we had a nice Hot Wheels set. But my Major Matt Mason collection predated G.I. Joe. Um, five or six, probably. And that was about the extent of it right there. He might have had a, few, a couple other smaller hand tools. I definitely remember the backpack. Definitely had the backpack. The tent lasted me for, for a while. I, I still was, I don't want to say playing with it, but I was aware of its existence in, into high school, maybe even a little bit later than that. And somewhere in this house, there's probably a cat track kicking around, although my figure was long gone, and this is a replacement figure for it. He's got some wire breakage. His legs are kind of messed up and one of his arms is messed up but for right now he'll do and the other the, my favorite accessory was was the tent and the vendor in, in assured me that it will inflate I, I'm not going to try inflating it right now I'm actually about to head off for dinner but I had to open this up take a look at it I'm I agree with him it looks like it's it's certainly never been played with never been in a sandbox never been outside um, obtained via estate and someday someone's going to be obtaining our collections via estate unless you've got a kid to leave them to bequeath them to other family member who can outlive you to care or pass it on at a, at a premium well it'll be uh, sold up at an estate sale but until then, I got my tent back. Always loved the backpack. I, I recall the backpack for my uh, figure being quite durable. And it, it, it fit on G.I. Joe, too, if I recall correctly. And we'll figure out how it's all supposed to be strapped in. I don't think... I think that the white part with the blue tab I think that actually connects to the tent itself when it's in its stowed configuration or at least when I, as I've been looking at the uh, tent set from in used condition that usually it's not stuck to the uh, the pump so we'll have to figure that out and uh, we'll pump it up in a different video right now I just don't Hmm. Oh, okay, I get it. Just 
for this thing to connect to that. Let's free it from the pack. Not, I, I don't even know if I want to press this because I'm not sure how it's held together. But let's do. Unless it's sucking air. Nineteen sixty eight Mattel Incorporated there on the bottom. There goes Major Matt Mason into his survival tent. Snapped up and ready to ride out the four degree night tonight in Syracuse. Yeah, maybe we'll do something interesting with it. Two latch Mattel Incorporated Toy Makers. 1968 Mattel Incorporated. Let's take a look at the uh, exam on the backpack here. See if there's any interesting nomenclature. 19. I want to say that's 67 Mattel, Hong Kong. Nineteen sixty-seven Mattel Incorporated Hong Kong. Inflator pump. I love it. Maybe this has some sort of okay, I get it. Here we go again, 1967 Mattel Incorporated Hong Kong. I bet you lift that tab, and that's the carburetor that allows you to intake more air while you're inflating it. Looks like this piece could use a little cleaning. Not sure what I would clean it with. And I'm pretty sure this got lost pronto, as well as the, the, the tube. I don't, I don't recall having my inflator tube for a while, but I definitely had the, uh, the backpack or the pack and then the tent into high school and of course my figure here is a black strapper so he's 1967 or later which would make sense um, or rather which which is which is fitting because I didn't have mine until 1971 or 1972 1971 Christmas 1971 I would have been four so maybe that's when I had it or possibly even for my birthday although my brothers and I my brothers each had one as well I think my younger brother had Sergeant Storm my older brother uh, had the yellow suited guy and I had uh, Matt Mason in white pretty sure we all had one They sure, they, they sure aren't going to be able to remember. They don't even remember which Hot Wheels were theirs. And I can look at look at our old Hot Wheels and I'm like, no, no, that was Phil's, that was Andy's. There we go. You can sort of see some information there on the back. Fascinating, and it's good to have them back. quality 1960s space toys and we're going to make some art with them all right peace out